Good morning, YouTube. Still in Pickle, Ohio. This would have been the starting point for well, the starting point for US 66. That goes through some of the country towns that are further north of here, more northwest. But I'm going to take a look around a little bit of this neighborhood on this side of the river. I don't know if I covered this neighbor. I don't think I covered this neighborhood last time, Block 9 parking but sun angle might be interfering just a little bit with with this but I'll make do with it a few of the houses right here East Water Street right here so I'm gonna cover this for a few minutes So East Water and Race Street, right here. U.S. Marines right there, so. It's pretty early in the morning right now, so not a whole lot of people are gonna be up at this early. Hour. I've seen a few people out, but overall, you know, not that many. I'll just call this neighborhood, I guess, west of the canal lock. There's some more geese up there along the river bank. And you see the common theme. They cut the grass along the river banks, which I really wish they would stop doing that here in these cities because they're not helping the situation with the geese out here. Looks like some industrial stuff off that way. There's the high school football field right there and I believe this is Ash Street that I'm coming in momentarily I might be making a mistake on that but I'm pretty yeah this is Ash Street right here so I'm gonna yeah, I'll, I'll go back behind and cover a little bit more of this this is Ash Street right here I'm not gonna do the other side of Ash Street right now but this is the football field for the high school. I'm not exactly sure. I think the high school is is in the more eastern part of the town. I am not 100% sure on that. But I'm going to go down a couple more of these streets right here Roosevelt Field House Pickwick schools rated excellent so they got good schools here some of these houses are in a little bit rougher shape but that's okay though I mean Race Street right here. This is, I guess, some more industrial things back here, I think, or some shops. You know, there's a couple parts of this city that are a little bit rougher, but overall, I wouldn't feel, I don't feel unsafe up here at all. It's What the heck, I'm just gonna go down this street a little bit right here. I, I don't know what the name of this street is, but there's the football stadium on the other side of it right here. That's facing Ash Street, which is 
I believe the main road through Piqua, the at least the main east to west road. You see a couple for rentals right here, but I think over half of this is homeowners through here, I believe. Home Avenue, Manon and Home Avenue. We got a Home Avenue down in Dayton on the west side of Dayton. But you know, I, I've always enjoyed coming up here to do some, you know, in the past to shop and play at the arcade up at the mall, you know, so. But I'm gonna end the videos for a little bit. I got a couple other things to to do up here, but you know, I'll be back with more, you know, shortly after I make this, after I finish up with this video. I showed these a little bit on the, when I started this video. But, Ray Street, okay, I covered the, the back portion of that, I believe, but you can see it pretty well from right down through here. You have a couple houses in rougher shape, but overall it's not that bad, I mean, batteries flash if I'm going to try and, I got plenty of battery footage today, so that's not a problem. morning. Squirrel out there running through here. Now this street right here looks pretty nice through here. Don't look in that bad of shape. I'm not exactly sure what this street I just turned on to us, but I'm pretty sure when I was up here last year, I did not cover this part of the, this part of the city. Let's see, we're at the corner of Spring, which is where US 66 begins, and, uh, and, uh, High Street, Spring and High Street. But anyway, that's it for this 